Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video, something a little bit different than what I usually do, not book content, but I've been wanting to do this for a while because I really love my bags and I kind of enjoy watching what's in my bag videos, so I figured I would just do one myself. So like I said, I have bags to show you because I have two bags I rotate between. They're both from the same company and they both have similar ideas going on you'll see in a second. So at the beginning of April I started a new job and I went from driving to work to taking the train every day to work and so I needed a new bag because before I had sort of like a smaller bag and then I would just like carry my lunch separate and all the other stuff I needed separate uh, but obviously when you're commuting on a train it's not quite the same so I needed to upgrade to a larger bag and so I did a lot of research before buying a bag and I got opinions from other people and such I was looking for something that was also fair trade if possible and I found this company called Everlane and I really really like them like I want to buy a lot of things from them but I'm showing some restraint because you know budgeting and being responsible and whatnot. Um, so the first bag that I purchased from them was this, which is their dipped tote bag. I love this bag. And I also get a lot of compliments on this bag. So there are a couple of reasons why I went with this one, partially because it is quite large, so it can fit everything. This is a waterproof material as well. So, you know, commuting and getting stuck in the rain happens. So this ensures that the stuff inside doesn't get completely ruined from that. I went with their dip tote because if I need to put my bag down on the ground, I don't have to worry about it getting stained or really gross or anything like that because it's dipped so it's easy to just like wipe off and clean really easily. But also because it is dipped, um, it actually can stand on its own like it has a pretty flat bottom um their other tote bags i believe are just like regular tote bags so they would just like topple over sort of this bag also just has like one large opening and the one downside i would say is that it has like an inside pocket but this doesn't zip i kind of wish it did and or i wish that there was like an outside pocket so that way i could sort of like slip things in and out of really easily but other than that i really really love this bag oh and the straps are really fantastic too because they go all the way down um it helps you know like physics wise there's like less pressure and also like I don't know what they use for their straps but these straps never slip off my shoulders which is fantastic so yeah if you need a bag I highly recommend this or this company in general so it's probably obvious I'm not currently using that bag and that's because I'm currently riding my bike for the most part to the train station since it's summertime I'm taking advantage of it and so using a shoulder bag like that is not great I still use it on occasion like when I have work events I need to go to I'll like purposely use that bag or if I'm driving somewhere sometimes on the weekends I'll use that bag things like that but right now the bag that I'm currently using is a backpack because that is much easier to carry when you're riding your bike so this is the backpack that I'm currently using and I love it so much it's very similar as you can tell to the tote bag in that it's a dipped bag um so same thing, I can put this down on the ground without it getting dirty, or if it does get dirty, it's easy to clean. A couple of things about this bag, this is the dipped mini bag. I went with the mini because I was basically trying to force myself to not carry a whole bunch of stuff on my back. This is kind of tight though, because I also put my lunch bag in here, as you will see in a second, but it works. I'm able to fit everything, and it basically just forces me to like make choices like, do I really need this thing in my backpack? And most of the time it has been no. But yeah, this is the mini size. They do have larger sizes. So yeah, in the front pocket, I usually have my phone, um, but I'm currently using my phone to record the audio for this video, so I'm not going to show that. But I also keep uh, this camera in here. I have a Sony RX100 Mark III. I bought this in 2015, and I really love it. I really enjoy it. If you you have seen my Instagram and you really enjoy my Instagram, there's 99% chance that those pictures were taken with this. Uh, I don't really take pictures on my phone. I mean, I do, but this is significantly better. <laughs> it's kind of pricey, but it's worth it to me because I use it all the time and it's great. Like it has like the little flip out screen. So if I wanted to vlog on this, I think I have vlogged on this before. Yeah, I, I love this camera so, so much. It's been completely worth the investment for me. And then I also keep my keys in this front pocket as well. Um, I have a lot of keys and keychains. My favorite keychains, I have a board keychain, a Simpsons board keychain. If you're a Simpsons fan, you understand this joke. Um, I got this from Universal Studios when I went there in 2015, I believe I went. And then I also have this, which uh, my friends who know me in real life from church might recognize. We had a church conference and they made these little dog chags that have words like truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation, word, and prayer, which is comes from Ephesians, I want to say. And it has to do with like putting on the armor of God. And so these are the different types of armor that we need to put on. So yeah, good reminder. Yeah, a lot of stuff 
going on here. All right, so this is the inside of the bag. As you can see, stuffed to the brim. I'm just gonna go top to bottom. So here I have what's basically like my lipstick bag. I carry lipsticks, even though I don't really wear lipsticks anymore, but when I used to wear lipsticks, I just put them all in here. I mainly just use this now for my chapstick. I use uh, Burt's Beeswax, but it has to be specifically their mango one or the pomegranate one. I don't like their original <laughs> at all. And then I also keep Advil in here because you know that's needed sometimes and like i said i have like a bunch of lipsticks in here but i'm not going to show them off because i don't really wear them and i don't even know if they like still exist in the world <laughs> anymore <laughs> i'm that person next i have my lunch bag which is currently empty because i took all the stuff out to you know wash and whatnot and you know you should do that immediately after coming home but yeah i just got this from the container store it fits like my food perfectly. I have these like glass containers, Pyrex containers, um, and it can stack two of them perfectly plus a little bit more if I need a little bit more. And yes, I do bring my lunch like every day to work because I like it. <laughs> I have this tiny umbrella. I'm pretty sure I got this from Target. I've been using this since like college. I should probably get a better umbrella since I'm commuting in the city and the wind is super strong in the city. But yeah, this is just, you know, doing the job for now. I have my wallet. This is a Michael Kors wallet that I got for super cheap at Marshall's because that's how I roll. Yeah, I just really like this color. It has my cards and whatnot in here as well as like the cash thing. And then it has the coin thing in the back. You know, how wallets work. This is the weekly day designer. I've been not bullet journaling really lately since starting this new job. My entire like process of time management and task management has changed significantly. This is currently working really, really well for me. I got this in July. Um, this is the July to June one. So it's like their academic calendar one. And to show you how it looks, it has like the months calendar and then it has like the week hourly calendar. But I went with this because I needed something with more of an hourly format because that's basically basically how I'm dealing with things right now. It's not a 100% perfect system, but I'm working on it. So yeah, this is always in my bag because you know I need it. This is my sunglasses that I keep in here and it also has a glasses case. Um, these are prescription sunglasses since I'm always wearing glasses. Obviously if I put on sunglasses, I would be blind. Then I have this, which I got from my old company. It basically has a portable battery recharger and then the cord for it as well as like an outlet plug so this is always in my bag because you know you always need to be charging your phone and then i have these two bags so these are two bags that i got from the strand two separate occasions and i highly 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 recommend these bags i think these are great if you are someone who has like a large purse or a large backpack or anything along those lines and you feel like you're always rustling through it to find stuff um these are great to you know keep all of those smaller things inside whether it be like pens or tissues or whatever you'll see in a second what I keep in mind. So this bag has the strand logo on one side and then on the other side it says a well red woman is a dangerous creature and hilariously enough inside of my strand bag I keep my kindle. <laughs> yeah so I always carry my kindle with me especially these days this is what I'm always reading on the commute. I very rarely carry a book around with me because like I said that backpack is already like packed to the max so carrying a book is kind of difficult. I do it on occasion but whenever I do it needs to be like in place of something else so if I don't bring a lunch that day I can fit a book in basically. <laughs> and then the other one I have is also from the strand it just has like the strand tag it doesn't have it on this side but I got the nevertheless she persisted bag persisted let's say that correctly and then inside this is where I keep sort of like the miscellaneous things I keep like a tiny deodorant and like wipes because again, commuter, it gets gross. I have my headphones in here. I have my business cards in here. The one thing that I highly, highly recommend, if you are someone who has a phone or a device that is a USB-C charging port now, I got this off of Amazon and it's basically a USB type C to micro USB port thing. So it's this tiny little device that you can attach to the end of your micro USB cords. I'm someone who has been an Android person in terms of phones for like my entire smartphone existence. As that, I had a bajillion micro USB cords and I loved it because I could like leave one at home, leave one at work, have one in the car, etc, etc. Then I got a phone that has micro USB and I was like, crap, now I have to buy a bajillion micro USB cords. But 
No, I went on Amazon and I was looking for them and I found these instead and they're fantastic because I can just stick these on the end of all my cords and I am straight. Um, it's also great to just keep in your bag if you're like me because if you like forget your card at home, it's very likely that someone has a micro USB charging cord, but USB-C isn't quite as common yet. So if that happens, then I just like pull out one of these little converter things and I can use their cord temporarily. So yeah, highly recommend this. It's basically been a lifesaver on multiple occasions and has saved me from needing to buy like a bajillion more cords and just using the ones that I already have, which is aces. So yeah, that's my entire backpack. All empty now. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. I went through these products kind of quickly. I'll have links down below to these bags as well as like the strand bags in case you are interested in those. Or if there's anything else you're interested in me linking to, let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to do that. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.